What's up America? This is Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from somewhere in a secret location in America. Running for president. Jim Bob for president. Jim Bob for president. Yep, I ain't seen me in the polls yet, but I'm going to get there. I was watching the TV today and I saw old Donald Trump over there, got him on the interview and he was talking. And uh, I'm dead going to find and agree with something he said. Of course, he won't do it and I will. Uh, he talk about uh, making the military stronger and everything. And that's what I've been thinking about. What we need to do with the military in America different than we're doing today. So one thing about the military is this here. Whenever I was a kid, that's a long time ago, and you got uh, a little bit of trouble or you didn't do too good in school or something like that, you go on and get in the Army and they straighten your ass out. And, uh, or the Air Force or the Marines or, you know, Navy, whatever. To get in there and to get your butt straightened and squared away and to come on out and you'd be, you know, a good part of society and stuff like that. Well, not no more today, boy. You got just about to have a college degree just to get them to talk to you. And, uh, and then they, you know, uh, treat you bad when you get out and all that kind of stuff. Of course, the uh, government's been treating veterans bad ever since, uh, well, I don't know, World War One, pretty much. Uh, uh, and that's uh, up them douches up there in Washington doing that. That's exactly what's going on there. But anyways, I, I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to take care of that problem. I done told you that about that. But anyways, getting back to the military, I'm going to uh, change it to where it don't matter what kind of grades you got. Uh, if you ain't in school no more and you're uh, old enough to get in there, 17, 18 years old, you can get in there. And just like it was before. And that's one thing I'm going to do. The other thing is, uh, uh, and that's going to help kids that uh, can't get a job and stuff like that. And uh, the other thing I'm going to do is, uh, in the military, what I'm finding out is uh, they got all these guns and tanks and armored carriers and this, that, and the other, and they're giving them all the stuff to the police departments, which that's okay. I, I'm not, you know, too much again all that, but uh, they're giving them all the guns and all that kind of stuff, uh, you know, and uh, for free. And uh, I'm thinking, uh, hell. What about me? What about you? Uh, I could use a, a AR-15. I've been wanting one for a long time. I just ain't got, you know, $2,000 to go buy one. That's the thing. So I'm, that's one thing we're going to change. Is gonna, uh, and the military is giving stuff away. They're going to give some of them guns to the, to the civilian population if they want them. And if they don't want them, that's fine. But we're going to get some free guns. And um, I don't know, maybe some... Uh, I don't know if we'll get a tank or not, but we I would, I'd like to have a tank too, just to ride around in the swamp with. That'd be kind of fun. And, uh, you know, shoot down some trees or something or like that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to change that where they give it to the civilians too, not just the police departments and uh, like that. And the other thing is, you know, we've got the, the SEAL teams and the Special Forces and the Air Force has got some kind of Special Forces and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to beef up all that stuff, boy. It's going to be, the, we're going to get a lot more of them guys in there than we got now. And uh, when uh, somebody wants to mess around, they would be messing around with the uh, SEAL teams and Special Forces and and, uh, and the regular Army and Navy and Marines. And, and we're going to get some more, modernize up some more ships and tanks and and uh, drones and all that stuff are going to get real modernized. We're going to spend money on the military. It's like uh, Trump said, ain't nobody going to mess with us. Well, I'm saying if they do mess with us, we're going to kick their ass. I mean, kick it bad. It's going to hurt. And we're going to do it quick, and we're going to be decisive. And uh, you want to mess with America? You made a big mistake. Our sister, whoever you are, uh, we'll find you, track you down, and we'll snuff you out like a like a rat you are. So anyways, I said uh, we're going to get, uh, and, and who knows, it could be a civilian do it if he had an AR-15. Uh, you might not even need the military, see? So uh, that's some things I'm thinking about, and we're going to do that. And uh, so, uh, uh, you know, vote for me and you get a free gun, and uh, you can trust me, you know I'm going to do what I said. And uh, we're going to uh, come on, uh, ISIS, it's time for you to get squashed and uh, like that. So, uh, yeah, America, free guns for everybody. Jim Bob for president. Jim Bob's out.